Hey guys, it's Melanie and today I have a slightly different video to share with you guys. I have done purge or declutter videos in the past and I've done them mostly based around like makeup products that I don't use anymore. Um, a lot of times those items get passed along to my nieces if they are not, um, you know, like too old or too gross <laughs> to pass along. Those products just get tossed. I have been going through my candle collection and found quite a number of candles that um, I just don't really enjoy burning anymore or I think that um, somebody else may actually like the scent more than I do um, or I'm just like generally just kind of over it. So I don't waste anything. <laughs> if I can pass something along to somebody, then I am more than happy to do it. And I do already have people in mind for the candles that I'm going to show you guys. So um, don't leave your address down below or ask me to send the candles to you. Um, most of these candles are kind of at the halfway point. Um, and a couple of them are actually, I've only burned them a couple times and just decided that the scent wasn't really for me. So most of these candles are going to go to my brother and his girlfriend. And um, then there is one candle that I actually pulled for my mom because I know that she would absolutely love it. So um, I'm going to give that to my brother to take up to her when he comes down this weekend to visit. So um, this bag right here is full. <laughs> So I'm going to set this down on the ground and just kind of tell you the reason um, why I'm passing the scent along because I think that's kind of helpful maybe. So first one I'm starting with is Cozy Sweater from Yankee Candle and this is a tumbler. It's a two wick obviously. So this is a very masculine fragrance and at the time that I bought it I was like I think I like this. Well, once I started burning it, it was just a little bit too masculine for me. It's a total dude scent in my book. <laughs> and so I think my brother would really like this one. So I've decided that instead of like forcing myself to burn it, I'm going to pass it along to him because I know that he's going to enjoy it. Okay, here is another fragrance that I was actually like, I'm still not 100% on giving this one away, but this is Root um, Candles Amber Saffron. Now, this is a really nice scent, but it's again a much more masculine, um, like sandalwoody type of scent. Um, it reminds me a lot actually of Sandalwood Vanilla from Bath and Body Works, but the vanilla in that candle tones it down a little bit for me and doesn't make it quite so masculine. This, this is a very strong candle and it's definitely got those like men's cologne type notes in it almost so I like it but I just think that my brother would honestly like it a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along to him there's honestly much of the candle left so he's gonna be able to get quite um, quite a bit of use out of this one so getting that one um, this is one that I'm sending up for my mom I almost hate to like give away any of my light my soy candles because um, they are no longer in business Freddie decided to close the company down so I can't get any more of the light my soy scents but I know my mom really likes this fragrance because she mentioned that she liked it the last time she was down to visit and I was burning it and I have a backup of it and I love my mom more than anything so she's getting it um, this is light my soy's lemon iced tea and um, so this one is unburned so I'm gonna send this up in like a little like gift bag for her but it just smells so good it just smells like Lipton iced tea with like lemon in it it just smells really good so as much as I hate to let this one go I love my mom more than I love the candle and she did say that she really liked this so I'm gonna pass this along to her this one, um, I have my brother's name on here. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, this is Blue Sugar Type from Light My Soy. This is another candle that I've honestly only burned like the very like top of it. So Blue Sugar Type is, um, it smells like Aqualina's Blue Sugar uh, Cologne for men. 
So again, this is a more masculine scent and um, I like it. I just don't love it. And I know again that it's something my brother would probably enjoy a lot more than I do. So I'm going to pass this one along to him as well. I just, I think he's really going to enjoy these more masculine type of scents more than I ever would. So we're going to pass those on. Okay, this is a balsam fir from Village Candle. This is actually a two wick. This used to be my favorite Christmas time candle, but um, I have since discovered White Christmas from Yankee Candle and have quite a few backups of that. So this one still has like several hours worth of burn in it. So I thought I'd pass it along to my brother as well. And, um, you know, he can burn it around Christmas time or whenever. It's just a really nice balsam fir scent. That's exactly what it smells like. It's a decently strong candle. Um, it's really nice. So um, I just love White Christmas a little bit more. And honestly, that one is just taking up space. And I don't see myself actually lighting it this year. So... Off it goes. Okay. This is Apple Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. I love this scent. Um, I'm not giving it away because I don't love the scent. I'm only giving it away because I don't really like this one wick tumbler style. Um, oh, the scent is so good. It's just not quite as strong in this like configuration here. So I'm going to pass this along. I think actually this one I'm going to give to my mom. Um, she does not necessarily want her candles to be super strong and she really likes this scent as well. So this one I'm going to send up for my mom to be able to burn in the fall. Um, this is a beautiful scent from um, Yankee Candle if you've never smelled it. It's really worth checking out but I think I prefer the paraffin over the smooth wax tumblers. Okay, this one's for my brother. This is this still has more than half of it, the oil, the oil wax in there. This is coconut and vanilla bean from Yankee Candle. And I used to love this scent. When I first got this, I like got three of them because I just loved it so much. I just don't love it anymore. I feel like the coconut is stronger than the vanilla, and I wanted like a 50-50 type of mix. Um it's a very nice coconut. It is definitely more of like that fresh type of coconut versus like the suntan lotion coconut. But there's just not enough vanilla in it for me, so I don't love it. So I'm going to pass this one along. I think that my brother's girlfriend would maybe hopefully like this one. So we'll see if she does. <laughs> Here is another one that I'm sending off to my mom. This one actually really reminds me of my mom. It's Autumn Wreath from Yankee Candle. It's a little more than halfway gone, and I really like this one, but there are just other fall candles that I love more at this point, and I know my mom really likes this scent. The reason I bought this is because my mom has purchased this in the past, and her house smells like this during the fall. Well, mostly actually all year long. Uh, my mom's house smells like a Michael's craft store. <laughs> I don't know why, because she doesn't really like do the candles year round. She does do some crafting stuff. Maybe that's why. But um, anyway, this just totally reminds me of her. So I know she's going to love it. So I'm going to have her take that one and just finish it off because I know that she'll really like it. This is my strawberry buttercream from Yankee Candle. This one is actually pretty strong. Um, I like this one, but once I got through half of it, I was like, nah, it's nice, but I'm just kind of over it at this point. I don't know what I did with the lid for it. So this is one that's going to go with my brother to probably his girlfriend's house. <laughs> so maybe she'll like it. If not, she can pass it along to somebody else. And that is everything. So the bag is now empty. So I've got three things going to my mom with the rest going to my brother slash his girlfriend. Um, I think I'm going to try to do this periodically because I tend to have candles sitting around that I just kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say that I don't like them anymore because I do, but I just am kind of like over them or I don't, in this case, like the format that they came in. So I'm glad to be able to have some people to send this stuff off to and I'm sure that they will appreciate them. Um, I don't make it a point to regularly give my brother a bunch of my used stuff, but <laughs> with candles, it's fine. Um, 
So I know that he will, he'll put them to good use. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any candles that you have sitting around that you're just like, about. <laughs> Honestly, this might be a good thing for you to do is, you know, just kind of gather this stuff up and really take a look at it and think, am I going to actually use this stuff or would it be like better to just pass it along to somebody else who will actually just finish the candle up and enjoy it a lot more than I ever would. So I think that's kind of a good question to ask yourself, basically with anything in your house. Um, you know, don't accumulate things just for the sake of like accumulating or hoarding things. Just every once in a while, I feel like it's good to purge. <laughs> so anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Again, these candles are going to a good home. Please don't leave your address down below. I've seen people do that in the past and I'm just like, no, the internet is a dangerous place. Do not put your address on the so anyway, have a great day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.